for her dad's blessing before propo- <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> before proposing, and Pop said, "No, you're not good enough for my daughter." Yeah, see that coming? <laughs> no, I don't think he did. He went ahead and went through with the proposal anyway. Now they're engaged. So how did his fiance break the news to her dad? I'm like, wow. This sounds super familiar. We just did one of these. And I was like, oh, no, this is the one. Like, this mm-hmm. is the one we literally had 10 days ago. So, yeah, this story was 10 days ago, as you mentioned. And Jonathan was ready to take that big step uh, in his relationship with his lady, April. And he planned a perfect night to propose to her. But first, he wanted to get the father's blessing, which is normal. But to his surprise, her father was against the proposal, claiming that they weren't a good fit. And no matter what her father said, he knew he wanted to marry April. However, he didn't know if it was going to tell April about her father's opinion. So ultimately, he popped a question and April said yes. But before she could tell her family, Jonathan told her what the father thought about their engagement. And April assured Jonathan that her father's opinions wouldn't change her feelings towards him. Last we heard, April was going to talk to her dad one on one before sharing the news with the rest of the family. So how did that conversation go? Update. Hi, Bert Show. It's Jonathan. I'm the guy who recently asked my girlfriend to marry me, even though her dad said no when I asked for his blessing. The last time I talked to you, I told you I went through with the proposal and that April said yes. We were both very happy. (laughs) Notice I said we were. Mm -hmm. After I last spoke with you guys later that week, April went to her dad to talk to him one on one. When she came back to me afterwards, she was in tears. It was more of the same from her dad. You're too young. You're not a good fit. He actually told her that he forbids her to marry me. Uh-uh. It was all I could do to not go and confront her dad, but she begged me not to do it, so I didn't. Instead, I went to her mom, who likes me. Turns out she didn't know about April's dad not giving his blessing. April's mom was pretty mad. She was like, his blessing? It's our blessing. She told me I should have asked them both at the same time, and I apologized. Then April's mom talked to April's dad. Turns out there's another reason April's dad doesn't want me to be his son-in-law. We found out from April's mom after her talk with April's dad. Long story short, April's mom used used to date my dad in high school. What? Dude, what? Oh. April's dad was jealous of my dad, I guess. April's mom and my dad ended up breaking up right after graduation because they were going to different colleges several states apart. None of our parents ever told us this. My dad met my mom in college and April's mom got together with her dad not long after she broke up with my dad. Anyway, that's the reason why he won't give his blessing. It isn't April's age. It's the history between our families. I haven't even talked to my dad about what I found out, but he's... Not really the type to talk about that kind of stuff. As for now, April and I are still engaged. We're planning to, quote, parent trap our dads into meeting with our moms and April and I. It was April's April's idea and putting this all behind us. I hope it works because I don't know if it can get any worse. Oh, Jonathan. Love you, mean it. It can always get oh, worse. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But, Dad, grow up. Facts. I, I mean, come on, man. Are you serious? How many years ago was this? 30 years ago? You still holding on to this? Grow <clears> up. <throat> If I'm Jonathan, this is what actually made me feel better because now I know not to take it personal. Yeah, it's on him. Absolutely nothing to do with me. It's completely on dad and I'm living my life like it's golden. But that would make me more frustrated because there's really nothing I can do about it. Like it's not, oh, I can, it's not April can get older or I can become a better match for her or I can do X, Y, and Z to make me a better fit for your family. There is nothing I can do to get rid of that resentment that you have from 30 years ago with whatever went on between the dads and the relationship. So this would make me feel like I was spinning my wheels for nothing. And do we really think surprising the parents into all meeting each other is a good idea? Terrible idea. No, horrible. Absolutely awful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was focusing on one thing though, like this is a this is a place that tradition really should change. Um, why do we still just go to the father for the hand in mm. marriage? Why don't we go to the family? My husband did. Yeah, and, and but that is the tradition, right? But why? Like, now it's 2024. Why is it you're going to just the dad and you don't go to the dad and the mom? I, I, I don't know, but I encourage you do what my husband did. He went first to my dad, and then he went to my mom, and then he went to my brother. Yeah. He literally got the entire family's blessing and let them know that he was proposing to me that coming weekend. I don't think most do that, though. No, they, they go don't. To, they uh-huh. go to Pops. Pops says yes, and then everybody finds out, and everybody's happy, but... 
I think what he's doing is the better way to do it. I like it too. I say yeah. we institute a new tradition. Yeah, I agree. I, I think, like you said, it's just that's kind of what you're taught. Because that's what I was taught. When you get older, you go ask the dad. Mm-hmm. I was never taught you ask the family. But right. no, you're right. You should ask the family. <laughs> Maybe it's just because they know that the mom is going to be so excited. Like, my daughter's getting married? Thank God. The Burt Show.